Hey Killer Bees, it's Paula B from PaulaBeeFitness.com and on tap today it's day 15 of the Weight Loss for Women Over 50 series. And you guys, today we are all about low impact cardio. That means that there is absolutely no jumping, there's no transitions to the ground, there's no equipment needed, and for my friends who are into this kind of thing, there's also no repeating the exercises. When you're ready for this one, I'm totally ready. Let's go! All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving, and that means that we are getting started with some arm circles with high knees, like we do. Are you ready for this one today? Not yet, I know, that's why we're doing a warm-up. I'm actually gonna slow this warm-up down just a little bit. I'm gonna tell you something, I am a little bit nervous about today's workout. I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit flustered already before we even get started, because I am looking at literally three whiteboards full of very small writing today. You guys, this, this is gonna be a super fun one. This, I love no repeat workouts. It's one of those things where I, I really enjoy, first of all, just the mental challenge for me personally, putting it together of thinking of lots of different exercises. And I have to tell you, when I was putting this one together, I was like, I think this is actually every single all standing no jumping cardio exercise I know. I, I would be really hard pressed to come up with any more than these exercises. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. And, and here's the reason why I'm kind of nervous about it. Today, today is fast moving also. I mean, it's, it's a moderate effort, which is good for weight loss. We've talked about this for over two weeks now, my friends. We are not trying to go super duper crazy with this. And that's why I've set the timer the way I did. Here's what it looks like. I've got my handy dandy gym boss set for 15 second intervals. We're gonna work and then we're gonna rest and then we're gonna work and then we're gonna rest and then we're gonna work and then we're gonna rest. It is relentless, but it's also just right. 15 seconds is like a really nice amount of challenge. If you don't get the exercise quickly, just march in place or do something else, we're never coming back to it, or at least not today. So it's, it's a very fun and fast moving, fast paced, moderate, but ambitious <laughs> workout for us today. Let's do some welcome to my homes, welcome to my cat. That's Agatha there on the back of the couch, just chillaxing like she does. She just cannot possibly be bothered with these workouts anymore. Have you noticed her on the couch? She used to be super active all the time and now she just really likes to hang out and just be with me while we exercise. <laughs> you guys, you guys, when we get going, we are going. So I wanna make sure that you are plenty warmed up. I'm feeling warmed up and good. 15 seconds is also short enough that if you're not 100% warmed up, take these first couple of exercises at a nice warm up pace and just kind of gradually ease into it. We're gonna get started with goofy jacks, which is one of my favorite things and that's why we're starting with it. It's a little squat where we have our hands doing jumping jacks and our feet kicking out one at a time. Let's go ahead and get going. So little squat and up and out. Now I am going to take this same pace, I've been taking everything all month long at a nice moderate pace. We do not need to go a whole lot faster. The 15 second intervals of rest, which is right here, might seem like a lot at first, but the cumulative effect today, like you know, we're gonna go ahead and do walking stars next, where we step forward with one foot in one hand, then the other foot in the other hand, and then back and back, and we're gonna alternate leader feet. So forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back. We're picking an apple and we're putting it in our pocket, you guys. Moving at a pace that feels good, doing what feels best for you today. And 15 seconds of rest coming up next. We're doing booty kicker jacks. Again, a little bit more of kind of an extended warm up. Hands are doing jumping jacks. Feet are doing booty kickers, just like we do with our warm up. That hands coming up overhead is what's gonna bring our heart rate up. So hands moving quickly, feet kicking back behind you, feeling that nice stretch and that nice cardio, but also, you know, moving just at right. So we're not getting too high of a heart rate, 15 seconds of rest, without without also feeling like we're not moving. You know, we're finding that middle ground. Coming up next is windmill tap backs. 
We're going to have our hands and our feet nice and wide. We're going to reach our opposite hand down towards our opposite foot while kicking that same foot back behind you. Awesome job having those hands up overhead is what's keeping our heart rate up for this whole workout today. Very nice job. And then look at that. We're done with that one too. <laughs> if I come upon some exercise that you don't like, don't do it, my friends. It's only one interval. Coming up next, we're doing kick jacks, which means once again, our hands are doing jumping jacks, which they're going to do a lot of today. Our feet are doing regular old kicks. However high you can kick while holding your core in nice and tight, standing up straight and tall, getting good deep breaths while we're exercising. Awesome job. Coming up next, we're going to do twisting high knees which means that we're bringing up one high knee at a time while twisting our torso back and forth from side to side. The trick is to keep your hips pointing forward, so twisting and bringing up one high knee. If you'd like a little bit more challenge, you could kick. I'm gonna just bring up my knee though. <laughs> it's plenty of work for me. When it beeps again, we're gonna get 15 seconds of rest. Feeling this work? Oh my gosh. Who did you feel that in your abs? Awesome job. Coming up next is ding dong. This is one of my favorites. In fact, they all are. I'm going to not say that for every single exercise. We're going to have our hands swinging low while one foot kicks out to the side at a time. Here we go. You can really get this one rocking, really feel that balance work, pulling in your core, but getting your heart rate up at the same time. Nice job. When it beeps again, we'll get that 15 seconds of rest. You see how relentless this is. The 15 seconds of work doesn't feel like too much. The 15 seconds of rest also doesn't feel like too much. Coming up next, we're going to do skiers. Hands moving up and down in front of your body while one foot at a time is shuffling back and forth. Awesome job. The higher you get your hands, the higher your heart rate. And that is how we're moderating our heart rate today. That and the rest intervals or how we're keeping our heart rate at whatever rate feels best for you. Coming up next, we're going to do high hand obliques. Once again, we're having those high hands. When our hands are up, the heart rate is up, and that's how we're getting this great cardio sweat without any jumping or any transitions to the ground. Bringing your opposite elbow to your opposite knee while meeting that knee in the middle. It's a good crunch there for your abs, making sure your core is pulled in tight. And 50 15 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're going to do toy soldiers. Hands are going to be above your head. Of course, we're reaching our opposite hand towards our opposite kicking foot. So we're going to have hands up, and here we go. Opposite hand, opposite foot. This is one that you could very easily turn into a little bit of a jump if you want to. Finding what's moderate for you is the best way to go with all of these workouts. My friend, 15 seconds of rest. As we've been talking about, moderation is the way to get results, especially at our age. Coming up next, we're doing flying fast ups. Stand on one foot. Hands are going to be up in the air. We're bringing our hands down to the knee while the knee comes up to the hands. We're staying on one side. That's why this is a single sided exercise. We're going to get 15 seconds of rest before we do the other side. Tapping that foot back. Excellent job. My friends, if you haven't already, we're going to do that exact same thing on the other side. Make sure that you open up the description box below to get my weight loss over 50. I'm getting ready over here with my hands up. My weight loss over 50 information resource. It tells you literally everything that I know about losing weight at this age. I get asked questions all the time about moderation. Why in the world would it be good for we're losing weight? 15 seconds of rest and coming up next, we're doing half jacks. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's half of a jumping jack at a time, right side, left side, back and forth. The fact is, at this age, we need to be very careful about exactly how much stress we're giving our body. Here we are with those half jumping jacks without any jumping at all. And exercise 
is stress. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but at our age, and truly at any age, 15 seconds of rest, we need to be careful about how much and when we're stressing our body. Coming up next, we're gonna do reach across. Exactly what it sounds like. We're reaching across in front of ourselves while kicking that same foot out to the other side. Great lateral motion, feeling that work in your abs and obliques with that little twist through the middle. Hands up means heart rate is up. Awesome job. When we find the exact right amount of stress, 15 seconds of rest, that we can recover from, our bodies will react to eating the right number of calories. Coming up next is Drinky Bird Jacks. One foot at a time kicking up behind you while our hands are doing jumping jacks. Absolutely no jumping here, but oh yes, this is balance. Really thinking about holding in your core, moving as quickly as you can with excellent form. Trying really hard not to twist out of this one and put too much stress on your knee. 15 seconds of rest. Because as we know, stress isn't great for you. Coming up next, we're doing push, push, crunch. Give yourself a little bit of space here. We're gonna push to the side and then crunch it down into an oblique crunch. And here we go, push, push, and crunch. Push, push, and crunch. You guys, at any age, if you want to lose weight, you need to make sure that you're eating the right number of calories. That is the one thing, 15 seconds of rest, that truly moves the needle on the scale. Coming up next, we're doing leg twister jacks. Your legs are twisting in and out. Your hands are doing jumping jacks the whole time. This is one of those ones where if you don't get it, don't worry, we're gonna be done with it soon. So your leg twists out and in and in and out. Back and forth across your body or whatever way works for you. If your legs are moving and your hands are moving, you're doing awesome. Don't worry about it, whether or not you're doing it right because we're done with it. 15 seconds of rest. Coming up next is forward hinge arm flappers. You guys, exercise is truly the cherry on top. It is not the thing that makes you lose weight. Here we go with forward hinge arm flappers. Hands are doing jumpy jacks. Your lower body is doing what is basically a deadlift. You're hinging forward while keeping your back super duper straight. Core is pulled in tight for this nice quick motion and then 15 seconds of rest. Coming up next, I'm gonna go ahead and stay over here. We've got big arm side shuffles. Hands are making a big circle in front of you while we shuffle lightly to one side and then to the other. The thing about exercise is that it is fantastic, here we go, for your mental and physical health. You know, you can make some gains in your fitness while you're losing weight, especially if you are brand new to exercise. If you have been exercising for a while, you may or may not see any kind of change in your fitness. Here's 15 seconds of rest, and coming up next is starbursts, where we get little and get big. Hands and one foot come out real big in that big part, and we get down little into a squat or wherever you can get to. My friends, exercise shapes your body. Eating right is what changes the scale. The fact is, 15 seconds of rest, you can lose weight without exercising at all. Coming up next is rainbow kicks. Hands are going back and forth across the top of your head like a rainbow. One foot is kicking out to the side at a time. Sometimes we do this with our knees, but today we're kicking out. If you'd like, prefer to do the knee version, that's okay too. I wanted to see if we could get this rocking here. I love this lateral motion for your inner and outer thighs. Excellent job, 15 seconds of rest. Coming up next is punch down, tap outs. Exactly what it sounds like. We're punching down and tapping out to the side. So punching down and tapping out and switching your hands and your feet. When we exercise the right amount, which is moderately, that lets your body know that there's not too much stress. Eating the exact right amount of calories, drinking the right amount of water, exercising the right amount, 15 seconds of rest, all of those are signals to your body to relax and release weight. Coming up next, we're doing squat jacks. When your hands are down, your hips are down. When your hands are up, your hips are up. So coming down in a squat, your hands are doing jumping jacks. Your lower body is simply squatting. 
<laughs> Excellent job. I do tend to do a little bit of side to side stepping here in the middle. Makes it easier for me. You're welcome. Well, it doesn't really matter what you're welcome to do because it's 15 seconds of rest and we're not coming back to that one. Coming up next, we're doing letter K's where your hands are up. We're going to have one hand reach out to the side with that same kicking foot and then on the other side. It's almost like a half of a jumping jack from the other direction, starting with your hands up instead of your hands down. My friends, finding your moderate is the key to the exercise part of this equation. 15 seconds of rest. And your moderate is going to feel different probably than my moderate. Everybody's own moderate is moderate. Coming up next, we're doing can-cans. It's a knee and a kick and then a knee and a kick. And you're welcome to put your hands into it or keep them right about here at your chest level. Whatever feels good for you at this point in our workout absolutely works for me, my friends. Pushing yourself harder during workouts, 15 seconds of rest, can make losing weight harder. So we might as well just have fun with them, right? Coming up next, we're doing alley-oops. Of course, I say that right before the exercise that's maybe a little bit difficult. We're going to have our feet kind of out to the side here, nice and wide. We're going to swing our hands up and over. One foot pivots and turns into what ends up being more of a lunge. You are welcome if you do not like lunging or squatting to keep this nice and high. It's your hands going up overhead. Ha, ah, that gets your heart rate up. And now we're done with that one anyways. 15 seconds of rest before we do punch, punch, kick which is exactly what it sounds like. We're gonna punch forward, we're gonna punch forward, and then we're gonna kick with one hand, going back and forth with your leader hand and kicking foot. So punch, punch, kick, punch, punch, and kick. Awesome job moving at whatever pace you can sustain while thinking about excellent form, keeping your core in tight. Awesome job, 15 seconds of rest. Okay, you guys. We are getting low on the list, thank goodness. Coming up next, we're doing V reaches. This is another squatting one. Feet are gonna be a little bit wider than hip width apart. We're drawing a big V in the air. So up to the side, down in the middle, up to the other side. Go ahead and pivot that toe just a little bit, getting a little bit of toning work back there in your booty as we move from side to side. And excellent, 15 seconds of rest. Okay, this is what I was talking about with the cumulative effect. Even with all this rest, my heart rate is up, up, up. Coming up next, we're doing swinging side tappers. Basically this exact same thing with my feet. We're just tapping, but now our hands are gonna swing along with it a little bit bigger than we were doing <laughs> during the rest period. Nice and big on those hands means nice and big with that heart rate, making sure that what you're doing works for you. 15 seconds of rest and coming up next, another single-sided exercise. I'm gonna stand on my left leg first. We're doing a reach low, kick high. So we're reaching low and then we're kicking high. You're reaching down with your opposite hand towards that opposite foot. The foot that is on the ground is anchored on the ground. So this is single-sided. We are, of course, going to do the other side after 15 seconds of rest. You guys, this is essentially a very fast whew, reverse lunge. So making sure, 15 seconds of rest right now, but making sure that your core is pulled in tight and that you're using the best form that you can. You know, when in doubt, go for form over speed. I would always rather have you go slower because going slower is not going to change your weight loss results, <laughs> but I'd much rather have you not get injured. Here we are on the other side, Whoo! swinging that leg fast, reaching down, kicking high. Excellent job. 15 seconds of rest. Totally felt that in my thighs. How about you? Coming up next, we're doing dancing X's. We're going to start in a great big X position. Hands are up and wide. Feet are out and wide. We're bringing our opposite elbow towards our opposite knee. One at a time, bringing that dance, that crunch, right into the middle. Keeping your other hand up keeps your heart rate up. My friends, move your hand down if you need to move your heart rate down. 15 seconds of rest. Okay, you guys. Coming up next, we're doing butter churns. This is something new for me. Your hands are just moving up and down with your elbows really leading the way right in front of your body. As your hands are going up and down, we're kicking out to the side. 
Now, I realized that I probably got started a little bit wrong. I probably wanted my hands down when my foot is kicking out. Whichever way you got started, that's how we're doing this interval. <laughs> There's no need to worry about it when it's only 15 seconds long and then we're not coming back to it. Coming up next, we're doing something I call close squat swings. We're going to have our feet close, going to have our hands close. We're going to swing from one side up and to the other. So down into a squat, up in the middle, down into a squat while twisting on the other side. Awesome job thinking about good form, keeping your knees from going over your toes. It's still a good squat, even when we're doing cardio. 15 seconds of rest and you guys, we've almost done it. Coming up next is the last of our cardio exercises. It is middle skips, which is just skipping, except for the fact that we are not jumping at all. So you've got your opposite hand and your opposite knee coming up across your body, swinging those arms, feeling really good that we have almost entirely completed this workout. You guys, when it beeps again, we will be ah, done, but not quite finished. I've got a finisher for us. Here's what it looks like when it beeps again. We're gonna do a standing plank, which means that you are literally going to pull in and crunch every one of your muscles, starting with your pelvic floor and your deep core stabilizers. So we're going to pull in and squeeze. As we get those core stabilizers pulled in, then you can start squeezing your arms, squeezing your thighs, squeezing your abs, squeezing your chest, squeezing your glutes, squeezing, 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 and release. Okay. I know that was weird, so we're gonna do it one more time. Did you feel how that worked every muscle in your body though? Thinking about starting with your deep core first will help you tense everything else. Pull in, pull up, squeeze your abs, squeeze your chest, squeeze your arms, squeeze your thighs. Think about your glutes. You can get down to your calves and even your forearms, up into your neck if you want to. Squeezing, 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 and release. You guys, I'm turning off the timer. That was fast paced. So let's cool it down. Let's go ahead and do those arm circles. Ha 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 with the very, very gentle side to side tappers. How did you like that one? That, that was one of my favorite ones yet. I gotta be honest, I really enjoy a fast paced, fast moving, fast thinking kind of workout once in a while. <laughs> You know, the fact is your routine has room in it for just about every kind of workout that we've done this month and some that we haven't done yet. You know, variety is the spice of life. And what we're looking for is just the right amount of spice. Finding workouts that you think are super fun, super repeatable, super doable, and the exact right amount of challenge, that's what we're looking for when we're losing our weight. After you've lost weight, there will be plenty of time to get more intense. There will be plenty of time to really focus on whichever kind of workout that you enjoyed the most and then supplement with other things. You still want some variety. But right now, right now is such a great time to just explore and try new things. And don't worry about repeating anything. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do those arm openers and crossers. Give yourselves a big hug. This was, this was fun today. I hope you enjoyed it. I always hope you enjoy it. I mean, truthfully, I always hope you enjoy it. But I hope you enjoyed this one specifically because it was, it was a good challenge. <laughs> Giving yourself that big hug, saying thank you, thank you, thank you for trying something new, for doing something different, for doing something maybe a little outside your comfort zone. You guys, here on screen, it's the end of the workout, and that means that I'm going to tell you that there is an extended cool down. My heart rate got up nice and high. Make sure that if you've got the time and the energy and the effort and the desire, that you do a little bit longer cool down. I keep these brief here on screen, but there's plenty of stretching to be had. On the other side of the screen, there's 
going to be a playlist that has all 31 of these monthly weight loss for women over 50 workouts. Right now, there's only 15 of them, but by the end of the month, there will be all 31 of them. On the bottom of the screen is the letter P, and that is an invitation to go over to Patreon, where a monthly pledge from you helps me make free workouts for all of us. And thank you, thank you, thank you for your support in that manner. On the other side of the screen, that is a picture of me. It's actually a subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, make sure that you click that button and the bell notification so that YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new workout, which this month is every single day. You guys, thank you for working out with me. Click the subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow.